Good morning from the forest. It is day two of your 10 day intimate health yoga challenge. Today, we're gonna add some more strengthening and some more awareness building techniques to our practice. And we're gonna continue with the breath that we learned on day one. So for this practice, all you really need is a blanket. I'm gonna use this underneath my knees for extra padding. You don't necessarily need this blanket, but if you have something like this, it's nice to have to add some extra padding. This could also be a beach towel or a regular towel. So have that handy. I'm gonna actually put this at the top of my mat and we're gonna get started. So let's get on our backs. We're gonna start there. This is gonna go underneath my head just cause we have it. If you don't have that blanket, no worries. So get comfortable with your feet on the floor and your knees bent. You can even bring your feet a little bit wider and start with dropping your knees in and towards each other. Good. Take a deep breath in. You can place your hands on your belly. And open mouth, exhale. And just take a few breaths here, getting heavier into the ground. Allowing yourself to land to arrive exactly as you are. Good, now I want you to bring your awareness to your lower back. Is there a gap between the floor and your lower back? If there is, I want you to press your feet into the floor, lift your hips just slightly, tuck, pulling your tailbone up and in, and then flatten your lower back on the floor. You don't have to let your knees drop in if that pops your back up. But here I want you to place your hands on your belly and I want you to breathe, that deep belly breathing that we learned in the first uh, day. So you're inhaling, fill the belly up, but feel that expansion happening in the sides of the torso and even into the floor, like you're pushing your back into the floor with that inhale and then big exhale, let everything go. So inhale, fill in all directions. And exhale, gently sigh out. Inhale to fill. And exhale, release. Good, two more on your own. like you're taking up space here. Good. We're going to continue with that breath. However, we're going to change what our hips are doing. So right now I want you to imagine your pelvis right now as a circle. So let's draw a circle right now. Tailbone is the bottom of the circle. The outside of the left hip is the side. The top of the pelvis, so tops of your hip bones, um, almost like your mid back is the top of that circle. And then the right hip is the side. So I'm drawing a circle right here. And I want to roll on the edges of the circle with my breath. So what you'll do is inhale. The bottom of the circle or your tailbone is hitting the floor. My low back is lifted. With my exhale, I'm going to roll to my left hip, hitting the edge of that circle on the left side and then hitting the top of the hips, and then the right side. Good, so with the inhale, full belly breath, tailbone is down, and then with the exhale, my tailbone lifts, and I'm hitting the top edge of the hips. Rolling over here, filling up, inhale, and then exhale, rolling to the tops of the hips. And that's it, so I want you to envision that circle moving around, almost like you're spinning a plate on the floor. So inhale, tailbone touches, and then exhale, tops of the hips touch the floor. Inhale, and exhale. Now you can see my knees are kind of moving around, just kind of so I can guide my hips in that circle. Really the focus is on moving the pelvis and freeing up some space in the low back. Inhaling to expand the belly and then exhale to lift the tailbone and engage. 
awesome. Keep it up. Okay, circle in the opposite direction. So over to the right, we're exhaling to lift the tailbone and then inhaling to the tailbone. Try to slow down the breath and slow down your movements. We're just waking up sensation in the pelvis here. Good, one more circle. All right, release, come to neutral. And then you can just let your knees drop side to side, stretching things out here. Great job for that warm up. We're gonna move right into some strengthening moves. So you're just gonna make sure that your heels are directly below your sits bones, pretty close to your sits bones underneath the knees. You can bring your elbows on either side, palms facing each other, and then really roll your shoulders back and down so you're long and lengthening through the back of your neck. So you're inhaling here, filling the belly up. And as you lift, you exhale and push through your feet, squeeze the pelvic floor muscles and core in, and then inhale, release. Now notice your glutes are gonna wanna do a lot of work. I want you to try to force your legs tops of the thighs to do more work, your core and your pelvis, all right? So try your best to turn off the glute muscles like 50%. So let's inhale here and then exhale, squeeze everything in and lift. Excellent, inhale, slowly lower and exhale, squeeze. Now remember, this is quality over quantity. So move with your breath and feel your muscles engaging. Inhale to release down, and then exhale, squeeze, and slowly lift up. Inhale, release the hips down, and exhale, squeeze, and power through those feet. Feel your muscles activating. Inhale to release. And exhale, squeeze and lift. Good, keep going, inhale, release down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. We're just doing one more. And exhale, squeeze and lift. Okay, release the hips down. Whew. And release the knees, knock them side to side just a little bit. Great job so far. Okay, back to neutral. We're gonna power it up a tiny bit more. Make sure those heels are hip distance width apart, still underneath the knees, arms are in the same position. Take a deep breath in. With your exhale, squeeze and lift your hips up. Now put all the pressure into your left foot, lift your right leg up high. Flex the toes back, but point your feet. It's called a floint. Make sure your feet look like a Barbie foot. <laughs> so you're gonna inhale here. And we're going to exhale and pulse. Good. Release the right foot down. Keep your hips high. Left foot up. Barbie, floint your foot. So we're pointing the foot, but flexing the toes back. Ten pulses here. Inhale. Good, one more time on each side. Drop that left foot, keep the hips high. Reach the right leg, floint the foot. 10 pulses with the exhale, inhale. Good job, release the foot down. Leg goes up, floint, and pulse. Excellent, release the foot down, inhale, and hips go down. Ah, Lot rock the knees side to side. I'm definitely feeling things working. I hope you are too. <sighs> so good. You can pull your knees in and bring both knees in circles together. Circle in the opposite direction. <sighs> 
Good, and then hug both knees in towards your chest. You're gonna drop both knees over to the right, bring your arms wide, palms facing up. And you can look over your left shoulder if that feels good. You can think of that as completing the twist through your spine. <clears throat> Couple breaths here. Bring your knees through the center and drop them over to the left. Now you're looking out past your right hand, if that feels good. Couple breaths here. <sighs> Try your best to keep the right shoulder flat. And those knees are just gently tilting to the side. So good, hug those knees back in. You can grab the backs of your knees we're gonna rock and roll up and down the length of the spine. If this doesn't feel good, just come up to sit. You don't have to do it. And then let's get right to hands and knees. Okay, with your hands and knees, if you'd like, you've got that blanket. And if you want to put the blanket underneath your knees, awesome, I highly recommend it. And then from here, just make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and your knees are directly underneath your hips. We're gonna move with our cat cow breath. So when you inhale, drop your belly, pull your shoulders back like you're smiling at your collarbones wide. And with your exhale, round your spine, drop your head, look down towards your knees or towards your belly button. So with your inhale, drop the belly, Roll the shoulders back, really exaggerate that openness through the shoulders. And then exhale, round the spine. Now I want you to keep moving with the breath. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round up. Keep moving, warm up the spine. And then you can start to add your own movements here. So maybe hip circles maybe bending the elbows. The only thing that matters is that you continue to breathe. Deep breaths in, long breaths out. And then from that movement, come back to that neutral cat cow breath. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale. Inhale, pull the belly in, drop the head. And we're gonna add some pelvic floor activation here. So with your inhale, open your sits bones, almost like you're widening here. And then with your exhale, squeeze in from the pelvis, pull the core in, drop the head. Good, now feel that difference. Inhale, open the sits bones, open the pelvis. And exhale, squeeze and pull everything in. Let's keep going, just a few more like this. Just incorporating that pelvic floor awareness into your practice. So good. Okay, make your way to neutral position. You're looking down at the floor between your hands so that you're long through the back of the neck. We're gonna start with bringing the right hand out in front, palms facing in, thumbs pointing up, and then the left leg goes back behind you. I've got a little bit of a wrist injury, so I'm gonna be on my fist here. If that works for you, you can go for it. So, right arm is extended, left leg is back. I'm pointing my left toes down, I'm pushing through my left heel. Now see this curve in my spine? <sighs> Engage the core, take that curve out. Try to maintain that position. Your heel is in line with your hip. Okay, now we're gonna inhale here. And with your exhale, I want you to squeeze and engage the core, the pelvic floor muscles all pulling in. Three more breaths like that. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, almost like I'm pulling my arm back into my socket and my leg into the socket. Yes, inhale, and exhale, squeeze in. One more. So good. Now inhale like we're reaching forward and kicking back. Exhale, round your spine, pull elbow to knee and engage the core. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Yes, two more. 
Try not to fall. Excellent. Hold it here. Inhale. You can look forward, bend your back knee, reach back, try to grab your ankle or your foot, and then kick into that foot. You can feel that lift of the chest. Try to add a smile. Maybe look over your right shoulder. Two more breaths here. Yes. Now release, reach forward, kick back. Inhale. Exhale, right hand comes down. You can bring your left foot out to the side, toes point away. Yes. Now walk that foot away a little bit further and we're gonna move here. Just kind of opening up, really whatever feels good. Lunging into the knee, sending the hips back. Definitely starting to feel things in the hip. Mm -hmm. Good, lunge into that knee a little bit more. Bring your hands with you over towards the left and then take your left hand and push your left knee back. Oh, you should definitely be feeling that hip opening stretch. A couple more breaths here. Hmm. Excellent. And make your way back to neutral position, hands and knees. Whew, shake it out a little bit, you did great. Okay, left arm forward, thumb is up, palms facing in. Right leg kicks back, toes point down. Push through your back heel like you're standing on a wall behind you. Inhale here, and then exhale. Take the curve out of the lower back. Pull the rib cage in. Engage your pelvis, you can feel it. Now we're just gonna breathe here, inhale. And then exhale, squeeze everything, hugging in towards the midline, almost like you're pulling your shoulder into your socket. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Good, inhale, get long. And exhale, squeeze. We're working these stabilizing muscles, inhale. Exhale, squeeze the pelvic floor, squeeze the core. Good, let's just do two more. Excellent. You can look forward. Oh, sorry, keep looking down. <laughs> Inhale. And then exhale, squeeze, elbow to knee around the spine. Yes. Inhale, get long. Exhale, squeeze, hug in. <sighs> Two more. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, reach. Now we're looking forward. You're gonna bend that back knee, reach for your ankle or your foot, kick back, lift the chest. Maybe look over the left shoulder, keep breathing. You got this. Kick a little bit more, smile, and release. Reach forward, kick back. Drop the left hand down, bring your right foot out to the side, toes point away. In here, right away, you can get into that movement. We're just kind of moving into this hip stretch, letting your body guide you. <sighs> Go where it feels good. Great. And then lunge into that knee. Make sure your left hand, both hands are underneath your torso, over towards the right but the right hand can move and push that knee open. Oh, if you're making that noise, you're doing it right. Keep breathing. Invite in whatever other weird noises have to come through. So good. Let's come back to hands and knees and shake it out. Do what feels good in your body. Alrighty, we're gonna just come to stand on our knees since we got this handy blanket here. And we're gonna move into a lunge position. So you're gonna take your right foot forward. Bring your hands to your hips, inch that foot forward a tiny bit so that your heel is just in front of your knee, but your hips are stacked over the left knee. Now here, I want you to check to make sure there's no curve in your spine. So I'm gonna pull my ribs in engage my lower abdominal muscles, press that tailbone towards the floor and 
lift the pelvic floor up and in. Reach your arms up here, inhale. With your exhale, I want you to lunge forward, keep engaging the core, try not to let your lower back unhinge at all. Press your elbows wide, pull the shoulders together open through the chest. So you'll inhale, reach the arms high, and then exhale, engage your core, but open through the chest. Yes, two more like that, inhale. Exhale, we're pushing the knee forward, lunging deeper. One more, inhale, and exhale. Good, you're gonna stay here. Extend your arms up, try to really maintain that core strength. Grab a hold of your left wrist in your right hand and pull it up and over to the right. Now you should feel a nice opening and expansion through the left side of the torso. Two breaths here. So good, reaching back up, arms back to neutral. You're gonna tuck your left toes under and try your best to lift your back knee. Now if you need to, make sure that your feet are not in line. You might wanna walk the right foot over, press strong and powerful through that left heel and do your best to maintain your core strength. Hold it here, good. Now this is your inhale. With your exhale, you're just gonna bend your knee that left knee, the back knee, and feel that core strength. Inhale, straighten the leg, and then exhale, squeeze, hug into the core of the pelvic floor. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale, squeeze in. One more. Yes, hold it here, inhale, straighten that back leg, and then exhale, left fingertips to the floor, directly underneath your left shoulder. Look up past your right hand. Keep pressing that back heel forward, just breathe. Try to keep your hips even. Pull the right hip back and down, revolving from underneath the rib cage to look over the right hand. Whew. One more breath. And then exhale, release, hands down, back knee down, and you can just come to stand like we started, both knees flat. Whew, shake it out. Give me a shimmy. Yes. Left foot forward. Bam. Hands to the hips. Engage the core. And then do your best to walk that foot forward a little bit more so the heel is just in front of the knee. Yes. We're going to reach the arms up. Pull the belly button in. Tailbone points down. Try to really take that curve out of the low back. This is your inhale. And with your exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, drop the elbows. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze the core, open the chest. Yes, two more. Inhale, reach up. Now maintain that core strength. You're gonna send the hips forward, Grab a hold of your right wrist and your left hand lift up and stretch over to the left. Keep that core strengthening. Keep the hips moving forward and you should feel a nice opening in the front of your right hip. Couple more breaths here. Go as deep as you need to. If it's ever uncomfortable, back out, please. Great, inhale, reaching back up. Okay, from here, you're gonna tuck the back toes under. Are you ready? We're going up. Whew. Adjust your stance if you need to. Go a little wider with your feet. Press your back heel forward. Whew. And then check again. I like to just take my hands here. Take the curve out of the low back. Pull the belly button in. Even if that means you bend your back knee a little bit more in that straight, uh, straight position. So this is your inhale. Exhale, we're bending the back knee. We're sucking everything in, engage, and then inhale, straight in. You got this. Exhale, squeeze in, bend the knee. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Squeeze the thighs towards each other. Two more. Yes, I'm shaking. Hope you're shaking, inhale. And then exhale, we're just going down with the right hand. Right fingertips underneath the right shoulder. 
Open the chest, look up over your left hand. Press your right heel forward. Draw the left hip back and down. Keep breathing. You are so strong. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. One more inhale. And exhale, release, hands down, back knee down. And then you can step the knees to meet each other and shimmy it out. Whew, so good. <sighs> Time to wind it down. So let's bring that blanket back to the top of your mat because it's time to come down. So come to a seat first. <clears throat> a seat you can face um, the bottom of your mat because we're gonna lay down this way. So right now, just bring your feet together, knees wide, pull your feet close as possible to your seat, <clears throat> and then spread your feet open like you're reading a book. Whew. Inhale here. And then exhale, keep the spine straight, just hinge at the hips, almost like your heart is going past your toes. Yeah, keep spreading your feet open. You can even use your elbows to press the thighs down towards the floor. <sighs> Feels good. Keep breathing. Almost like every inhale, you're lengthening the spine. And every exhale, you're surrendering your heart a little closer towards your toes. So good. Come back up to neutral. You can close your knees, bring them together, <clears throat> and lower yourself all the way down. Oh, rest here. We're going to move into figure four stretch. So you're going to keep your feet flat. Take your right ankle, cross it on top of your left thigh so that there's a figure four in your right knee. Keep the right toes active and pulling back towards your right knee. That's very important to protect your knee joint. From here, you can, there's different stages. You can just push your right knee away. That's stage one. Stage two is reaching and grabbing your left thigh and pulling that in. At the same time, use your right elbow to push your right knee out. You can also grab the front of your knee, which will bring that knee a little bit closer. You'll feel more of a stretch. And if you still want to go deeper, you can extend the left leg high, grab the calf and pull it in. Good. The whole time I'm actively pushing my right knee away from my body. So let's keep breathing here. We're here for about five more breaths, but really just enjoy this moment. Even if enjoying this moment means surrendering to the sensation, I don't want to say pain, but the sensation of opening the hip. <sighs> we are grateful for this incredible body that we have and all the sensations we can experience with it. Hmm. Take two more breaths and exhale however you need to exhale. Maybe it's a <sighs> or other weird noise. Mm, so good. Start to release, bringing the left foot back down and then the right. Whew, and you can shake it out. Let's get the other side. Left ankle crosses on top of the right thigh. Keep the left toes active. And then you can reach, grab the right thigh, use your left elbow to push the left knee out. If you wanna go deeper, grab the front of the knee and keep pushing that left knee out or extend the leg. Totally up to you, choose your own adventure. Just make sure that whatever pose you're doing, you're fully in it. Like your mind is there, you're breathing into it, you're experiencing the sensation of the hips, not trying to avoid it or run away. <sighs> Stay here with me and breathe. Now, the more you can do that deep belly breathing in this position, the more you're telling your body, hey, it's okay. We can relax in hip openers and we don't have to freak out, right? So let's train our body 
to be open to the idea of these hip openers and these stretches. <sighs> Hmm. After your final breath here, uh, you can start to release both feet back down and let your knees rock side to side. For our final stretch, you're just going to extend the left leg long on the floor and pull your right knee in towards your chest. Use your left hand to guide your right knee up and over. Right arm extends out and you're looking out past your right hand. <sighs> and that's it. Just keep that right shoulder down. The left or the right knee does not need to touch the floor. I'm just using my left hand to support it. Really more about that back stretch, dropping that right hip away from the shoulder. A <sighs> couple more breaths here. So good, switch sides. Extend the right leg, hug your left knee up and in towards your left shoulder. And then with your right hand, you're guiding the left knee across, up and over. Keep the left shoulder flat and look out past your left hand. <sighs> Continue to drop your left hip away from your left shoulder. I'm also supporting my left knee with my right hand and kind of using that traction to guide my left hip down and away. Feels pretty good, not gonna lie. <sighs> Two more breaths, however you need to release. <sighs> Come back through the center. Any final stretching that you need to do to feel complete, do that now. One of my favorite things to do is stick the legs up, the arms up, and shake. Shake your face, shake your belly, laugh a little. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. And pause with your arms and legs still up and breathe. Just feel that tingly sensation, that sensation of being alive and then slowly release everything down. Legs wide, arms wide, take up space here. Take a deep breath in and open mouth, exhale. And just breathe, just be.